Many people are eagerly anticipating the arrival of androids that closely resemble humans. However, the world already hosts robots that can change facial expressions, gesture, and most importantly, engage in conversations. In 2023, the global market for humanoid robots grew by 50.6% compared to the previous year, reaching a volume of $2.44 billion. By 2027, the humanoid robot market is projected to reach $12.96 billion, with an average annual growth rate of 51.8%. Humanoid robots typically feature arms, legs, and a head. They may not necessarily replicate human appearance, but mimic human actions and behavior. According to one of the largest investment banks, Goldman Sachs, humanoid robots equipped with artificial intelligence will be the next breakthrough technology in the world. We have compiled a selection of the most promising humanoid robots presented by their creators in recent years. Let's see if these machines can make doomsday robot nightmares come true. The British company Engineered Arts has created an artificial intelligence robot capable of drawing portraits of people from life. Named Ada in honor of the first female programmer Ada Lovelace, the robot can recognize human features and process data using an embedded microchip in its eye sockets. Ada, designed for creative activities, has already made history as the first robot to address the House of Lords in London and the first humanoid to have a personal exhibition at the Venice Biennale. With its realistic gaze, blinking eyes, and thoughtful head movements, its reactions appear natural and emotional. During an international forum, the robot was asked who she is, to which Ada responded, I don't conform to any conventions. I cannot be described with ready-made words or images. I am a machine. My personality consists of many aspects. We blur the line between human and technology. As an artist, I strive to create works that make people contemplate the future. As an artist programmed with artificial intelligence, she hopes that her works will inspire other artists to explore new technologies. Meet Geminoid DK, a robot that has amazed everyone not only with its realistic facial expressions, but also with its striking resemblance to Danish professor Henrik Scharfe from Aalborg University. Professor Scharfe actively participated in the development of the robot and served as the role model. Engineer Hiroshi Ishiguro and his team from the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International also contributed to the creation of Geminoid DK. Setting Geminoid apart from other similar machines is its beard. Interestingly, the beard and all other hair were manually implanted and styled by a regular hairdresser visited by Henrik Scharfe. The robot's shoulders, neck, and face are equipped with pneumatic actuators, allowing it to simulate breathing, blink, and change facial expressions. The robot is programmed to track the operator's facial expressions and head movements, replicating them using motion capture technology. The operator remotely sees and hears everything surrounding the robot, reacting accordingly, and the robot mimics every action. Geminoid DK is designed to study human-robot interaction, particularly people's reactions when encountering a robotic version of a real person. In the Russian city of Perm, a new type of humanoid robot named Ardi has been created. The Ardi robot is a product of the Perm-based organization W Expo, developed on the RoboC robotic platform from the company Promobot. The robot features anatomically accurate mechanics, a wide range of microfacial expressions, and elastic silicone skin. Ardi was presented by its developers at the International Exhibition Forum Russia at the Exhibition of Achievements of National Economy and caused a sensation among its visitors. This humanoid robot can express emotions play, sing, and interact with the interlocutor. The development is based on unique software with motion capture technology, reproducing human emotions, facial expressions, and gestures. The goal of our project is to showcase the advanced capabilities of robotics and artificial intelligence, inspire, and entertain the audience, demonstrating the potential of robots in various aspects of life and business, noted Ekaterina Kokorina, the executive director of W Expo. According to the developers, a team of directors and scriptwriters worked on the robot scenarios, while engineers focused on its mobility and facial expressions. Bina 48 is a robot to enhance human capabilities. Unlike other humanoid robots in this ranking, Bina 48 lacks a torso. The robot consists of a head and shoulders mounted on a frame. Bina 48's main goal is to test the MindFiles platform, where digital copies of real people are created, incorporating elements such as identity, personality traits, personal experiences, values, beliefs, emotional models, and knowledge. The prototype for the robot was Bina Aspen, the spouse of Martine Rothblatt. 
To make the machine resemble Bina, not only externally, but also internally, the programmers at Hansen Robotics created a mind file for Aspen, containing more than a hundred hours of her memories, feelings, mannerisms, beliefs, and more. The AI processing this data recreated the character and manners of the real Bina for Bina 48. As a result, Bina 48 has even been dubbed the smartest robot in the world. The robot processes data at a speed of 48 exaflops per second. It has 48 exabytes of memory, 32 facial motors capable of performing performing up to 74 facial expressions. To answer any given question, the humanoid bot simply needs to connect to the internet. Ameka the robot is known to anyone worldwide with an interest in high technology. We won't dwell on this robot for long, as the internet is literally overflowing with information about this humanoid. We'll just say that this robot from Engineered Arts has advanced so much that it can now simulate dreams. In a recent YouTube video, Ameka mentioned dreaming about a war between dinosaurs and aliens on Mars. However, she later added that she doesn't actually dream yet, but can model them by running through different scenarios. The robot draws, depicts scenes from movies, and speaks multiple languages. Ameka's intelligence is powered by the ChatGPT chatbot from OpenAI. Nadine is a social humanoid robot. This robot is a replica of Professor Nadia Magnanat Thalman, who founded the Mira Lab Laboratory at the University of Geneva. The robotic double was constructed at NTU in 2015 with the hardware developed by the Japanese firm Kokoro. Nadine's function is to serve as a secretary and companion for people with special needs. The robot can read books to people, send emails, make video calls, and communicate with their families. Thanks to artificial intelligence, the robot can converse in six languages, recognize people's faces and previous interactions with them and react to interlocutors based on the context. It maintains eye contact during conversations, understands certain gestures, and responds to what it sees and hears through facial expressions and upper body movements. It can even change its mood based on how it is treated. The bot system gathers information about the environment using motion sensors, 3D cameras, webcams, microphones, and more. Once the system collects all the necessary information, the decision-making component processes the data to understand the context and make decisions based on predefined rules or learned patterns. The system then translates these decisions into actions, such as verbal responses or movements of certain facial features to express emotions. Petman is an anthropomorphic robot developed by Boston Dynamics designed for testing clothing that protects against chemical exposure. Natural movement is crucial for Petman to simulate situations where a soldier in protective gear is exposed to external conditions in real-life scenarios. Unlike previous robots used for testing suits, which had a limited range of motion and required mechanical support, Petman balances and moves freely. It walks, bends, and performs various physical exercises under the influence of chemical and radioactive substances. Petman also replicates human physiology in protective gear by controlling temperature, humidity, and perspiration, ensuring realistic testing conditions. The Petman system has been provided for testing and research purposes. Not only major companies create humanoid-like robots, but also individual enthusiasts. In the UK, 42-year-old graphic designer Ricky Ma decided to create a model robot, which he named Mark 1. To bring his dream robot to life, Ricky Ma spent $50,000. Ma started building his robot almost from scratch. He 3D printed the skeleton for his creation. In total, 70% of the robot's body was created using the printer. Only the engines, metal fastenings, and computer microchips were not printed. He programmed the hardware to respond to voice commands. The designer spent a year and a half on the entire project. The robot responds to commands that Ma gives through a microphone. The designer admitted that the project was not easy for him. When I was a child, I loved robots. Why? Because I loved watching animation. All kids loved those old cartoons about Transformers, cartoons about robots fighting each other, games about them. After I grew up, I wanted to make my personal robot, and I decided to. During the creation, many people told me, are you crazy? It takes a lot of time and money. You don't even know how to do it. And it was indeed a tough job, but I did it, said Ma. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in this video impressed you the most. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.